Hi guys, I'm Davina from Angelica Yarns, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I position the yarn and hook in my hands. I will also share some tips with you on how I maintain tension. First, I'm going to show you how I hold my hook. I pinch the middle of the hook with my pointer finger and my thumb. I allow my other fingers to rest on the bottom of my hook. Some people hold their hook like a pencil. Personally, this method does not work well for me, but everyone has their own preference, so it may work well for you. Now that you understand how to hold your hook, I'm going to show you how to hold your yarn. To start, I pull a decent amount of yarn out of the skein to work with. I make a slip knot and put it on my hook. If you do not know how to do this, you can learn by clicking the link in the description below. Once my slip knot is secured on the hook, I pick up my hook and hold the tail in my right hand. I only do this to keep the tail out of my way for now. I place the rest of the yarn over my left hand. I secure the yarn down using my pinky. Pay attention to how much pressure you put on the yarn with your pinky. Do not push down with your pinky so hard that the yarn does not move. If you notice that the yarn is tight or is not moving smoothly while you are crocheting, lift your pinky a little to ease the tension. Without your pinky, you will have no control over how fast the yarn is being pulled. So make sure you push down with your pinky just enough so the yarn glides smoothly through your fingers. Now that my yarn is secured, I wrap it around my pointer finger, starting from the left side of my finger and bringing it around to the front. I usually pull my hook about two inches away from my pointer finger to leave enough space for me to grab the yarn with my hook later. Next, I let go of the tail I am holding with my right hand, and I pick it up with my left hand, pinching it between my middle finger and my thumb. Your yarn should now be in the shape of a triangle. If you cannot see the triangle, rewind the video and try again until you got it. You need to reposition your fingers every few stitches so they stay close to the hook. If you hold your project too far back, you will lose control of your tension, making it difficult to crochet neatly. As your hook moves further away, position your fingers to hold your project up against the hook. When I am crocheting, I twist my wrist to catch the yarn and move it where I want it to go. This is important to mention because it may look like I'm twisting my hook with my fingers, but I'm actually using my wrist. The last thing I want to mention about positioning is how I position my arms. I cannot speak for other people, but when I crochet with my arms up in the air for too long, I get a sharp pain along the side of my hand and up my arm. To avoid this, I rest my arms either on my chair, a desk, or whatever is high enough to support them while sitting comfortably. Now let's talk about tension. You want to be sure that your tension is not too tight or too loose. If you do not pay attention to this, your work will end up looking uneven and messy. As I explained before, I use my pinky to control how fast the yarn is able to be pulled. This is my method of maintaining tension. If you find the way that I maintain my tension to be too difficult for you, do not give up. What works for me will not work for everyone. Honestly, it all depends on your personal preference. If my method does not feel right for you, Check out some other tutorials on tension until you find the one that works best. While exploring new tips and tricks for crocheting, I stumbled across a tool that will manage tension all on its own. This is a great tool that helps make tension easy for anyone. If you cannot seem to grasp the concept of tension, please check out the link in the description below to learn how to create a tension regulator. Another important thing to know is that when you are crocheting, you should pull a decent amount of yarn out of the skein as you go. I say this because it'll be difficult to feed the yarn to your hook when it is still wrapped tightly in a ball. Some people invest in a yarn bowl to help unravel their yarn as they work. Others simply tug on the yarn as they go. Your yarn should not be tightly wound up as you are feeding it to your hook because it will make your tension too tight. Let's check out my next video on how to make a chain please click on the link in the description below. Thank you for watching.